Look at the American living in the Philippines. We're back at the uh, place where we bought the boat. We're picking up the raft. Uh, Tata didn't plan on getting wet, but he fell in, so now he doesn't mind. But uh, the branch he was standing on broke. But uh, trying to figure out where it's all tied down. And then we're going to try and tow it over to our uh, condo. Uh, but the, the current is either flowing really hard in when the tide's coming in or it's flowing really hard out when the tide's going out. There's not a, a long period of uh, calm water. So everything we're going to do here is going to be a little difficult. So, But uh, we'll figure it all out. Well, uh, I just dad will. <laughs> Yeah, the dock looks a little better than we thought even because uh, he put rubber pads on the top piece of wood there so that when the boat comes up on there, it doesn't scratch the uh, bottom of the boat. So, and supposedly there's floats underneath all that. I don't see them, so I can't tell, but uh, there's all the bamboo things, which are, you know, they're solid chambers in each one of those. So they float, but uh, I don't think that's enough to keep, since they're out of the water, there's something under there keeping them up, and we'll figure that out and uh, let you know. All right, be right back. Well, just found out that uh, they had it anchored to some big rocks down at the bottom, tied around the rock, so we had to cut the rope, and uh, we'll figure out how to anchor it when we get it to our place. And they had it tied off to the mangroves, too. That's the anchor that they use on the little boat. Didn't quite make it to the lobster cage. We're probably, at, I don't know, <clears throat> I don't know. There, the cage. Well, we're still a good distance away from our cage, so uh, we wouldn't have made it. 
So I, we're hoping we can drift over to one of these places where they sell gas. All right, be back.